Alrighty then, good afternoon everyone. Uh, Silver Dragon here, coming at you with some more Kenshi. Gonna be continuing where we last left off. Uh, let's go ahead and load on in here quickly. So, last time around we had gotten a little bit done for the most part. We're starting to transition a bit more from production to training as we have already uh, more than enough food resources now to last us a very, very long time. We could probably double the current population we have and we still would have enough food. But unfortunately at the moment that's not an option. I'm, I am hoping that when the map does get increased, when we do actually get access to more of it, that we will be able to have more people because otherwise I can't imagine being able to get too much done. <laughs> Popcorn! Why are you naked? There we go. Alright, let's see if we can open up this chest over here. Or not. Cough. There we go, that works. Whoops. Let's rearrange that quickly. You are not the one I'm trying to open. Popcorn. And then of course it closes it. <laughs> of course it does. Anyway, so we'll transfer those goods over. We have quite a few green fruit to say the least here. We're definitely going to have to get into processing all of that. We have more than enough water right now to say the least. And now I have my wheat fields going up here. So once these are produced, which shouldn't take too too long, uh, we'll process them in the grain silo, get some bread cooked up, and then hopefully, fairly quickly, we can transfer them all into uh, the food bars. Food cubes. Here we go. Delicious food cubes. Let's go ahead and max that out. So, popcorn, I'm going to have to send you back once more, good sir. You should be enough, honestly speaking. We can leave the bowl here. The bowl's not that fast anyway. So, really all we need at this point is just a bunch of iron plates so we can get some additional uh, defenses up and running here. So let's go ahead and open this up. Send you outside. Who the fuck? Who the hell is that? Some holy servant was locked in my place, apparently. Okay. <laughs> That's a little bit funny. It's like, wh how long have I had him trapped in there again? <laughs> anyway, I digress. Let me zoom on. Well, I guess I could just click on one of my guys here. Let's go to truth. Now there's actually quite a few mods for the game that are interesting that I'm kind of debating on whether or not I want to give them a try. One of which is essentially a slavery mod. So once you unlock imprisonment, you can pick up any bandits that you happen to knock out, throw them in prison, and you could end up enslaving them so that they could toil and work for you. It doesn't add it doesn't add to your player cap, I don't think. So you can actually use that as some extra labor to work your fields while you have your people work on other things, which would be nice. Uh, do we have the maximum? We have two of three right now. Let me borrow you. Have you work on the iron resource here? We have raw iron storage right there, and it doesn't amount to much, it seems. Old soldier, what are you doing? Oh, I see. Get back to work, man. How many more heavy iron clubs do I have? Number four. So which one are these? Were these all number threes? Base, yeah, we have base heavy iron clubs. Another oh, model industry force. So they haven't really changed, even though I did upgrade this workshop. It hasn't. 
gone up any steel bars. Oh yes. So do we new st we do need steel bars now, don't we? For this one? Oh, I see cuz this is the new version right now that I'm working on, but it does require steel bars to function, so I need to actually build that up here. Uh, let's see here. Hmm, weapon smith, plate beating station, electrical workbench. You I want. Let's see if I can kind of page over here. Unless I already built this. I think I have, yes, that is the electrical workbench right there. Okay, never mind then. Got the iron refinery, the steel refinery. Make high quality steel bars. Here we go. Unfortunately, then there's a problem of do I have enough room to place this damn thing somewhere? Also, where the hell is the access point? Yeah, not exactly going to be the best location. Oh, I can see the access points now. Okay, let's confirm that. Let that get built. What do we require here? 30 iron plates. Surprise, surprise. Alright, anybody, you guys have a backpack. Bean Hop does. Go trade with the soldier. I need to give him a backpack. Although this one isn't very wide, so I guess it won't make that much of a difference. But it's better than nothing. Okay, you can get back to work now. Soldier. Good enough. For the moment, good enough. All right, now let's grab popcorn and then have him run towards that location. So we should be good for that. And let's speed things up. Let's see what we have for our tech tree right now. So we're working on weapon strength, followed by tech level. Who the fuck opened my door? Some drone just waltzed on in after opening my door, which was locked. Closed and locked. And now he's working on my fields for me. <laughs> oh, maybe he wants to join my collective. I don't know. Sometimes I wonder. <laughs> uh, the cactus farm seems to be... What the hell? Okay. Apparently we have some flying rice. Or floating rice, I should say. Well, whatever. Can't do shit with our heavy armor smoothie because we don't have any of the recipes whatsoever, it seems. 27 out of 30. Where's my soldier? There we go. That's the last of that. So this one, I believe, will take plates and then produce steel bars, which then, of course, produce the higher-leveled uh, weapons. Still, I do need to start transferring some people over here. How about you, Bark? You already have a pretty high skill, don't you? Yeah, it's not too bad. His strength is 13 right now, which is, which is pretty damn good. Dexterity's not that great. Toughness, not too bad. Of course, Popcorn is probably the king of toughness right now. I'm like, are we still building this? Apparently we are. That's an MK3. Oh, good, so it automatically made the MK3 then. Fantastic. Alright, let me start... Probably you guys, actually. I need to swap out here. No, not 
about that. Okay. So she's actually working on the grain silo right now. You, on the other hand, are just an engineer. Let me cancel that for now. Give you the heavy weapon, let you get training. DSN, you already have yours. Oh wow, look how fast he's training. Sons, you don't have yours. Remove that temporarily. And let's see if this is actually increasing their strength. She has a strength of one. Still at 52. Heavy weapons is currently at zero. Let's see what happens when she levels up here. Hasn't changed. Heavy weapons has gone up to one, though. So it does not appear to be at least training with it. Does not appear to be increasing their strength, sadly. So we'll use the these guys here to increase their heavy weapons skill. After that's done, we'll probably send them out and let them battle with it to help increase their strength, and then later on we might switch them over to katanas. Something a little bit more damaging. There we go. Let me go down a floor here. Check on the electronics workbench here. So quite literally, input copper, output electronical components. Very nice. We actually do have four copper right there. Who do I have that's not too, too busy? What the hell are you doing up there, soldier? Looks like you're trying to get some food. Alright, looks like you ain't be able to do much else right now. Let me send you over here for a moment, so I can use your inventory. Excellent. Now it's going to get somebody to operate that. But first, you, my friend, are going to get over here and get your own... Uh, let's go steel refinery. If you're not weaponsmithing, you're steel refining. That way he can produce his own uh, steel bars. What are you doing? You're taking care of the veggie farms. Alright. Actually, when you're not dealing with the farms, let's have you make workbench components. Because honestly speaking, we have 973 water here. Frankly, these can all just not even be hauled anymore. We are more than good with that much water. Oh, hey, this guy's harvesting it for me. Let me actually chuck this on here. Of course, they still need to, like... They only ever seem to want to haul water to their job when it's completely run out, which is how efficient is that, <laughs> you know? I mean, they should be hauling they, they should be hauling enough water to keep that thing filled at all times almost. Or at least once it gets down to half, then they should refill it. And yeah, efficiency's not too great for those. Not gonna let me in here, are we? I wanted to see if I could move this, but I probably can't. But, uh, what the hell? Power. Actually, no, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait before I build anymore because the next tech level could have some additional battery technology. Also, popcorn should be here by now. Where the hell is popcorn? Also, those damned. What the hell?
Those damned hive people keep opening my goddamn, uh... Door there, it's getting annoying. Oh, who do we have? What do we have going on here? Oh, they're being attacked by dogs. Hold up, popcorn, help him out. Attack! Uh oh. Okay, now run, run, run. I was hoping you could take him, but yeah, no. Hey, at the very least, Popcorn does have some fantastic endurance. I mean, his toughness is the highest out of anybody, and that's basically from getting his ass kicked. So one strategy you could easily have if you just want to have a roving band of warriors would be to keep one on a side with some uh, med kits, let everybody get the crap beaten out of them, then have him quickly rush in and heal them after the enemy has left. I mean, you could easily lose people that way, but that's like pretty much the best way to gain toughness. Go on, popcorn. I find it... Oh, there we go. I was like, it's locked. It looked like some of the other doors were open, so I'm like, it's hilarious that it's the middle of the night, yet I can access the shops, yet in the, you know, mid-afternoon, they won't let me. It's like, what the hell, man? What the hell? But, no, luckily it looks like yeah, we were able, unable to. So I do hope they fix that at some point. But, yeah, when we, especially when we do get a larger map, I mean, I can imagine with that one mod we could end up dealing with a lot of our labor. But, on the flip side, you know, we shouldn't have to have that to be able to have an effective force and deal with the labor as well. Then again, we could always, like, just like I said, focus completely just on fighting, and it wouldn't be too, too crazy. But anywho. I wish the roads were highlighted a bit more as well at times, because <laughs> otherwise I would not have built my entire settlement on the middle of a road, which has caused us uh, quite a few problems. Run, Popcorn, run! I still gotta send you home, man. Actually, he might not even have to come into town. He should be able to access straight from there. Actually, no, let's, let's bring some more food cubes. Or bread, even. Either way. We'll bring some extra food over. Let's go up the floor. operating the grain silo right now because of the job he has in the other oh you stupid son of a gun these are not the ones you're supposed to be operating buddy god damn okay Alright, now, iron plates. Let's move this over to the right. Actually, all the way to the right, even. Excellent. That should be enough. I mean, we're heavy now, but hey, that should increase his strength along the way. Also, what kind of weapon do you use? A slim katana. Plus six to attack, but not so great for defense. Take one of the big guys. I'll see if I can build you a training dummy over there to practice with. Open that up. Man! If I got if I got ambushed by some hungry bandits on the way, they would be some damn happy bandits. That's for sure. <laughs> With all the food I'm carrying, my God, would they be happy? 
Alrighty then. Ah, there goes the sunrise. How lovely. Not too often I take a glance up at the skyscape. Usually I'm faced directly down. Anywho, that should be good enough for that. Now, how are we doing for iron here? Well, we got a slight stockpile. He's uh, hammering away here. We do have another steel bar ready to go. I definitely want to see how this compares. Did he already produce one yet? No, he has not. Okay. Obviously, it's going to take quite a bit of time for this to be produced. Let me see if I can. I can't store any more of that, but I can give him the bar. Let me actually transfer it in here. We really don't need any more of that process, so let me get you guys working on other things. You have, you're really good at combat. So let me get you training. You really don't need to haul anything to the shop counter either. There we go. I'll get you on the third dummy. And you. You've been with us for quite some time. Stop with that. Okay, the way that shitty weapon that you're never gonna use again. Damn it. And get over here. Let's take a look at her again. Nope, she's still level one strength and fifty-two percent. So she has to use that on somebody else. Even the heavy weapon skill isn't really increasing. I guess it's mostly just the melee attack that's increasing. fighting with a specific weapon. So the only way to train this and my strength is to actually fight. Right now, just doing this is raising the melee attack. And that's pretty much it. Let's, let's take a look at the truth here. So he's currently at 12. In a second, this should max out. And we'll see if he gains another level there. So I was thinking it would also train their skill, but it does not. I have to actually get them in combat with that weapon to raise the skill. But at least the melee attack is going to help. Also, I'll have to get rid of their backpack soon. So we are going to do exactly that. Sometime soon, I'm going to fully arm my guys. We're going to take them out. We're going to actually set them, up, get them to fighting. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I did get to 13. So yeah, by the time they're done with those MK3s, they'll probably be about level 20. At that point, I highly doubt it's going to increase any further. Uh, but we'll see what happens when we get up another tech level here. Speaking of which, though... Kill yourself, fool. You don't need to work on a stone mine. Most definitely not necessary anymore. Go ahead and throw that away. We have no need for that junk. I'd have you throw this away, but it wouldn't make too much of a difference right now, would it? Because you don't have much of anything. Let me give you this saber for the moment. Just because it's a better weapon than what you were having. Okay. So she's already making the wheat flour. I don't really have a need to have you work on that. We go down a level. Let's have you get on uh, this right here. Arthur. Oh wow, you've had some progress, sir. You have had some progress indeed. There it is. 
Excellent. Also, we have some additional copper in here. Let me see if I can grab the ones from here. Perfect. Alright, so we can definitely get some additional batteries. Speaking of which, our battery charge is, of course, down once again. Cough. Uh, let me turn on one of the generators. Oh, stupid floating race. There we go. Now we're in the plus. I'll just run off one generator for now, though. I'm not going to turn on the other one. At least for the moment. But yeah, it seems like it's really just almost not worth using these large wind generators. At least not here. Oh, here we go. Now it's suddenly picked up. Now they're outputting 50-odd power. Sounds like it's raining. I don't see it raining, but hey. Do we need to have you turn on? Let's turn you off and see what happens. Still increasing, so we can leave you be. Alright, excellent. Tech level 6 is almost done. How are we doing for supplies on here, actually? We have quite a few books, but we need to get some more advanced books. So I need to send out a trader. And all of our traders are currently up here busy training. <laughs> Let's take truth. We'll sell all these old crappy weapons. But more importantly, we'll load you up with this stuff. That'll be more than enough to get whatever the heck we might want. Alright, let's send you down to the hive. Oh shit! There is a beak thing literally outside my door. Okay. You get on down here, my friend. Okay. Let's go see how popcorn's doing. Oh, you haven't even made it to stack yet? My god, man, what are you doing? Holy hell, you're slow. We're on maximum, too. Oh, well. Let's see what his strength has been raised up to now. 12. I'm sure his athletics is through the roof as well. Yeah, 59. Jeez. Very useful for thieves, scouts, and assassins. Improved by doing lots of running at full speed without encumberment from a heavy inventory. So, quite literally, it's not going to raise as fast while having uh, this heavy load. Uh, your sword cuts will do more damage. Attacks will be blocked. Blocks will be faster and blocks will be faster. Okay, I see. Um, I'm assuming you just have to fight with, yeah, attacking with light weapons is the only way to train that one. Maximum carry weight is 27 kilograms. It's currently being enhanced. Oh, apparently it'll go up by 37% while in combat. Although I wouldn't want to get into a combat while using the backpack as it just gives you such a huge uh, debuff on power. Okay, let's go see Truth. He's almost there. Oh, fuck. I'm attacked by a big thing. No! Fuck! Yeah, I can't. I can't lower my weight any. So he's going to be hit. I'm about to get the old... Fuck Shit, son. Nice. 
Actually, hold up. So I could try to transfer the shit to my inventory. Okay, remove the backpack. And get after truth. I think we might barely manage to escape. I think the I think the hive people managed to help me out here. Okay, never mind then. Hold up. Is it it was the one from here too, I think, because he's gone. I swear these beak things must have some kind of a. Uh, oh shit, no, he's still under attack. Help! Hello! Fucking help this guy that's getting attacked and murdered right now! Medic! It's like, where's my shopkeep, man? Oh, here he is. Well, luckily we're managing to heal up. That guy is doing a pretty good job. Like, I can't imagine how strong these people are by now. Because they've been fighting these beak things almost constantly. So imagine anyone that managed to survive. I'm like thinking, can I actually select one of these guys and take a look at their stats? Twenty-four toughness. Not as not as badass as I thought he would be. Let's take a look at the shopkeep. He's also the same. Maybe it's a, uh, a lock on them. Show me what you got. Trade all my junk. Ancient science book. That's what I'm looking for. Also, we'll trade a bunch of those. Okay. Okay, let's go over to the next trader. While I transfer all these into my main inventory, well, my backpack. Okay, we're still heavy though, it seems. Oh well, next trader. It's like, save me, damn you, save me! <laughs> oh, hell. Alright, he's on his way. Popcorn's nearing the Holy Farm. Diplomatic status. Where the hell are you? Uh, truth, you can leave the fucking building now. Oh, you idiot. You're stuck again. Yes, I know I can buy many things, but I really don't care. I'm going to buy from your competitor across the street. Because you suck. You are not able to provide me with enough goods. Anywho. I'll definitely be intrigued to see what area gets unlocked uh, sometime soon. Well, next, I should say. I mean, it's like, not like there's, you know, not a couple of options here. If we get down below here, like, what the hell is this? This is, I'm like, looking at the map here, I'm like, what is this? I know when I was searching the map before, because we saw there's a lot of lo crashed ship looking locations. Oh. Here we go. Please have... Yes, he had two ancient science books. Fantastic. Well, we traded off all the meat we had. We managed to get several ancient science books. Yeah, this is why he's heavy. Oh, well. He will increase his strength by carrying such goods. So, looks like we finished up tech level 6. 
battery power, amplified generators. So it's all still the same tech at the moment here, but that might be because I need to upgrade my bench. Get up here. Okay, just in case. I don't think I need to do this, but I always do it just in case. Okay, so we need another five iron plates. Okay. Knife, if you want to help out. That would be glorious. Good sir, thank you. Alright. The other guy should be getting here. Eventually. Let's see how Popcorn's doing. Uh, he's still just over the ledge there. There he is moving again. Sometimes they just pause randomly. I don't know. Maybe it's when I load it into a new chunk, all their movement orders kind of freeze up. And the auto these guys are set to automatically harvest something, so they just immediately kind of snap too. But someone else out in the distance, on the other hand. Of course, that's just an assumption. I have no idea whether or not that'd be true. Ooh. I wonder how this one compares to the previous ones. Let's take a look. Oh, you're... you are hungry, sir. So let's take a look here. So, one blunt damage, 15 cutting. And of course, plus two defense. So this one's almost double actually, 1.8 blunt, 22 cut, of course the same defense, but hey. There's actually a, a fragmentation axe, I believe was the uh, one weapon, it was just a giant freaking ridiculous hunk of metal, essentially. It's like somebody took a bunch of uh, giant blades and just attached them to a, uh, a large sword. It was ridiculous. Oh, he went down. Probably beak things. Yeah, fucking beak things. He's eating him! Quickly get out of here, he's being eaten alive. Fuck! Good! We managed to distract him by attacking unprovoked. Son of a gun! That goddamn thing was eating him. Back up, wait for help. Actually, you go, you go heal. Go heal Truth before he dies. I wonder if he lost any limbs. His right leg is totally destroyed. Oh! Instant chest hit. Look at this thing. God damn. Take it down, boys. Now we'll get some practice in. Slowly taking it down. 
Ooh, man down, man down. Ouch, triple. All headshots, too. God damn. Hold up. Medic who can. Soldier! Retrieve that man! Also, why didn't you heal him? You have the medical kits. Do you not? No, you don't. In that case, open up his inventory so you can do so. Bloody hell, man. So he was being eaten alive out here and I didn't even notice. God damn. Okay. After he's done being healed up, we'll rescue him. 134. God damn. Negative 135. That's definitely gotta be you've lost these limbs. I wonder if we could actually replace them though. Rescue him. I mean, he doesn't seem to have literally lost the limbs, but he should have. With how damaged they were, he should have lost them. So we're chucking him in bed. Ah, he's out here too. Poor man. Heal yourself. Where's Alicia? Alicia, could you go rescue him, please? There we go. Really? You're just getting back to work while having that guy on your shoulder. You idiot. Do we have any beds in here completed yet? I think we do. Alright, good. He's uh, definitely a strong one, that uh, soldier. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to haul him so quickly. Oh yeah, 25 strength. That's not effing around right there. All right, we should have at least a couple of beds in here that are ready to go. Okay, you can get back to work now. You can go put him on there. Research bench has been completed. Fantastic. Knife, if you want to put all your goods back in here. Excellent. Alright, now, with that, what can we do? So it looks like level 6 is currently the highest level we can get. We have advanced stone mining, which of course would unlock the, uh, ooh, hybrid stone mine. Why bother with two machines if we combine into one? A stone mine that immediately produces building materials. Oh, interesting. Heavy generator theory, the battery power. Amplified battery capacity. Each advancement in a study can increase the capacity by 60. So this is something that you could do constantly then. It requires two ancient science books. Damn. More powerful large wind generator with double the potential output. Sure, why not? Let's research that and advanced battery capacity. Assassin training. Learn to knock people out from behind. Let's go turret training too. Weapon smithing 10. Four standard first aid kits would allow us to build our own. Large defensive walls. To make our walls any bigger, we would need to rebuild them with stronger foundations.
Strong defensive walls. So that'll give us more than enough research time, to say the least. I'm intrigued to see these advanced wind generators, though. If only just to build, like, one or two. I mean, if it doubles the, the potential power output, but then again, even like these guys, it might not do much. But now that we're producing energy uh, component or energy components, electrical components ourselves, uh, it doesn't much matter because we can build as many of them as we want. Now, anyway, with all that said and done, let's go see old Popcorn here. Our buddy Popcorn. You made it. Welcome home. Excellent. Let's get you in here, close this door, and see about uh, enforcing the front. I almost wish I could have them train on an actual one and then use it to defend as well. Kind of uh, do both. There might actually be it might actually be possible though. Who knows? Maybe there's a mounted crossbow that would act as both a defensive uh, weapon and a training weapon. Confirm that. Let him get that built up whenever he can. Still growing. Have we had any of the wheat straw? We do have some wheat straw was produced. Excellent. So he's going to produce the straw flour then, which we have none of right now. Get some bread, and then we'll see how that goes. I'm sure you guys are practically starving in here. Actually, no, surprisingly not. You guys have done fairly well here for yourselves here. Alright. How are we doing for the other storage ones here? Cotton is not looking too good here but I bet the fabric should be pretty decent oh yeah we got 30 fabric right now it's not mind-blowing holy shit 260 odd green fruit though that is pretty mind-blowing at that point with that kind of green fruit production I might as well switch from wind to pure generator farming as a matter of fact Let's get a biofuel distillery. Where do I want to put it though? We'll put it back here, I think. Okay. Now let's take a look at storage and see if we actually have a biofuel storage. Oh, thank you, Payday 2. I really don't care. Go away. Storage fuel. Confirmed. All right. Build that. This one requires two iron plates. Good. So we'll take someone who's not really doing anything afterwards, like you, and have you produce it. As for hauling the water tower, 280 odd is, again, more than enough. The fact that this one well constantly produces enough water for all these farms is redonkulous. I mean, look at this. We don't even have all the green fruits stored away right now. To say the least, if I produce heavy generators with the amount of with the amount of green fruits we're producing here, we would more than be able to what the hell more than be able to afford the uh, fuel costs for it. And I just realized I'm actually fifty odd minutes in when I had meant to cut this off about twenty odd minutes ago. Uh, that's unfortunate in and of itself. But anywho. Uh, looks like the first one was completed. So let's take a look at this advanced windmill here. Mm. 
Mm, ten iron plates and eight electrical components. I don't know if I have enough electrical components here, but that's definitely... No, I definitely don't have enough. So I can always buy them, potentially, nearby. But anyway, that's good enough here for now. So I'm going to call this here for the moment. Let's go ahead and save up. Ow. Regardless, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Uh, we have done pretty well here for the most part. Who the hell are you? Well, it's Holy Servants. Okay, never mind. We're fine. No need to man the defenses quite yet. One day, though. One day. Anywho, so we'll keep producing all the various goods here, fuel. We have most of our guys back at the base training right now. We'll have to continue that for quite a bit. I will sometime soon, however, be taking them, arming them up. I'll have to get some kind of armor for them. I don't know if I want to give them all plate armor or if I just want to find some kind of like basic leather clothes for them or what. I'm just not quite sure how I want to go about that, but regardless, we will be running around eventually fighting beak things and all sorts of uh, critters like that to uh, raise our strength and heavy weapon skill. Later on, once the strength is up high enough, we'll also switch out to the lighter katanas, which will help raise the dexterity, and we'll just eventually, you know, be doing ridiculous amounts of damage and such, and probably obliterating entire cities, I hope, at some point. But no, by that point, the new map will probably unlock and we can transfer everybody over and we'll be... Or a new section of the map will unlock. And we'll see how that goes beyond then. Or beyond that. You, on the other hand, let me select you. And have you work on a fuel distillery here. Save again. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Regardless, have a great one, everybody. And I will see you all next time with some more Kenshi. Till then.